Hey everybody, it's Darla. And you know, it's that time of year again for the Renaissance Fair. Yay! I'm so excited. You know, that's my thing. I love to dress in costume and I love the history of it. And I just love being around uh, a group of people or people that uh, see the fun in being at a Renaissance Fair. You know, it's just a lot of fun to me. Me and my sister, we've been going probably about 15 years at this point, and we've dressed up every year. We've made our costumes, or we've gone to Goodwill and got out, got items and stuff. So we have a lot of fun putting the outfit together. And last year, I don't know if you remember, but I was kind of like Mother Nature. I had the uh, wreath of flowers on my head. And uh, we were just free-spirited, you know. We found that uh, for the Renaissance out here, even though it's October, it's the sun is very hot. The, the sun out here, I'm in a desert, the sun is hot year-round. It doesn't matter. The only way you know uh, if the temperature is not hot is to get in the shade. If you get in the shade, you'll feel the coldness in the winter time but you know if you're in the sun it it just beats on you so we found that having um simple clothing and it's a lot cooler for us now two years ago when i went to the renaissance well let me back up. i have this bag here see this bag and this is all my renaissance stuff i got jewelry I got a wand I made at one time. I got my potion bottle that I bought at the Renaissance with my belt. So see, I got a belt. I got bells that I wear. And, you know, I got a knife that I put on my belt. So this here was like my essential. I had a lot of stuff in here, as you see. I got bracelets, the skulls, and, you know, Quite a bit of stuff. My knife in there. Last year, I couldn't find it. Nowhere. I looked and looked, and I keep this stuff in my bedroom. I could not find it anywhere. <laughs> so I was like, what? You know, I felt kind of lost without my little stash. Because, you know, we, I have a belt we tie on, and we kind of tie our purse on there or a bag to keep our money and stuff in. So... Uh, I think last year I carried a basket and I had my stuff in a little wallet which I tied to the basket so nobody could just take it out of my basket. So, and because I was like Mother Nature last year, I didn't really need the knife and the belt and stuff. I mean, I could do without it. So, after uh, the Renaissance last year, I said, I need to really find this bag. So I started really looking and I found it in a container that I had looked at before, but I guess I was just blind. When I opened my bag, I had this scarf, which is a really pretty scarf. It's got sequins on the end and she's kind of, you know, see-through. And I had this scarf, which is a heavier scarf with a little fringe at the bottom, but very pretty. Look at those colors in there. Really nice. I don't even know where I got them. One of them, well, I think both of them had a tag on it, but they didn't really have a price tag. They just got a, a little tag. Well, they do have a little coat there. And, uh, but I don't remember buying them, so... I don't know if somebody gave them to me, they bought them, gave them to me, I don't know. But they go together great. See those colors. Now, this year I bought a dress from Amazon, which I'm waiting on, and it's a basic peasant dress. Uh, you can pull it off the shoulders. It has a little, uh, God, what do you call it, ribbing or whatever here uh, under the bust line. So it's kind of like a baby doll dress. And I believe it's got a couple tiers in the skirt. It was a little bit more than I wanted to pay for uh, an outfit, but 
when I was looking at skirts, and then I said, well, I'll have to buy a top too. So I bought this dress from Amazon. Like I said, I'm waiting for it. It keeps saying, you'll get it tomorrow, you'll get it tomorrow. So hopefully I'll get it. But I got it in this kind of pinkish color. Uh, I'm thinking it's more like, if you can see, the darker pink. And I thought this would be great to add on to it. Now, when I was back in Indiana also, <laughs> and I went into uh, the store called Rainbow. I don't know if you have them back home or back where you're at, but they're pretty inexpensive little stores. And they have fashionable women's clothes, and they have a good plus size section. So I found this. Oh, let me put it up here more better. It's a, like a little corset. And she, you know, has these little uh, snaps in the front that you can clip it. It's real stretchy, you see. And it has these uh, kind of step pieces in here on both sides of uh, the corset all the way down the front. So it gives you a little support there. Now, I wasn't too crazy about the color, but I thought it'll work. You know, purple is more royalty, and I'm not going to be portraying royalty. But I thought it does kind of go with my uh, scarves here. See, either one it would go with. So I'm really happy with that. I've been trying to find a corset for ages. And this one, even though it's styled like a corset, it's just a top. You know, pretty much. It's just a little tank top that looks like a corset. But I thought, it'll work, you know. So I got that, I got my dress coming, I got my scarf and I got all my equipment, <laughs> so I'm pretty happy. I think this time I'm going to wear a gray wig that is curly and, and she's lo longer. And I think I'm going to put her in a bun or else take her and braid her down the back. I had these little ponytail holder uh, things that, and I took it, I braided that around. I put some pearls on it and I'm still working with it. But they wore something like that in the back of their head and then they would have braids that came down. You know, of course, that was probably their own hair braided into a circle. But, uh, as you see, I don't have hair for that. Now, I'm going to fix my wig. I told my son if he would be my model for me, I could just kind of put it on his head and do my braids, you know, in the back or if I'm going to do a bun. Because it's kind of hard sometimes to do this. You know, when you're trying to do it on your own head, especially a braid. And I don't really have a, a wig stand to put my wig on to do it like that. So I asked him if he would volunteer. He said, yeah, he would do it. <laughs> uh, and I may just do a bun, you know. So that's what I'm going to do with my hair. I got a tiara that I'm going, going to wear also. So... I guess um, somebody from the Renaissance has got a little money, but she's not really royalty, but she's not really a peasant peasant. You know, she's not the working class. She kind of, you know, maybe has some land, uh, you know, has a little money. So, so that should be exciting and fun, and that's what I'm looking forward to. Other than that, I'm, like I said, I'm just getting stuff from my Etsy store. Uh, trying to redo some baskets I have that I found at Goodwill that are in kind of rough shape. And I'm kind of, you know, sprucing them up and giving them new life. 
you see my vulture over here. <laughs> I don't know if he's waiting for me to kill over or what, but ooh, it's kind of scary. Got a vulture over my left shoulder here. <laughs> yeah, it's still kind of super hot here. I mean, I think it's gotten down below 100 degrees. But, yeah, that's all I got for you guys right now. I just wanted to kind of jump on here and tell you what I'm doing. Um, and I'll holler at you again. So I'll see you later, alligator. Bye.